we do need a big fire tube. We do need a small chimney tube. We do need a grinder. We do need a... Maybe we don't? No, we do need a welding machine. Oh yes, of course, we do need a hammer. So we have built it a waste oil burner, but it's cold anyway, because you have fire up it. The moment of truth, how long it takes. A pure oil inside a little bit. Just easy. And then a bit here. and put it inside That's all I have to turn on the compressor and check the result. Wait. 
Well, as you can see, five seconds left, literally. It got burned, what I pulled inside, with a piece of napkin. Now I'm going to open oil supply. So, I did. Oil comes through the tube. Check this out. I can open more. A bit smoke inside, you may see. Because oil must be warmed up enough for proper evaporation. That's the minimal oil consumption speed. As you can see, no smoke at all. If you don't see smoke, that means oil get burned completely. Now our furnace works slowly. We turn on a side fan, and you can see how it blow off heat beside. Thermal camera shows up to 180 degrees of Celsius, and temperature of corrugated pipe is distorted because corrugated pipe has glossy surface, which causes a problem to read for thermal camera. In this case, I have to adjust setting for it, but I don't want to. The outlet temperature is about 100 degrees of Celsius. The burner is very safe. There is no 500 or even 600 on surface, as you might have thought. If you lean mistakenly something on the burner, it will not fire up immediately. We have tested for several times. The main goal was to achieve complete oil burning without smoke. 